Aloha Libras. Let's get started with the Libras. It's been a while. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. A lot of stuck energy. Oh. Stuck. There you go. Mm. <laughs> loosening up. I was just going to say loosening up. I saw the chariot. I see like someone stuck. Someone could have um, been ready to go somewhere. Maybe they had car troubles or maybe just their fears and anxieties got to them and they turned the car around and went back home. Oh man, look at that. New adventure. Libras, there's a new adventure coming towards you, something that's going to bring in a lot of hope, something that's requiring you to remain hopeful, taking a leap, taking a chance, taking a risk, look at that, restrictions, it's that energy again, it's like going and then being restricted, this new adventure is restricting you, adventure is causing you to obsess over bringing someone with you possibly you could be wanting to bring someone with you that is going to restrict you from tapping into your supreme energy I'm seeing that you're capable of doing whatever this is alone You have everything you need within to get what you want. But you could be stuck in some sort of limiting beliefs. Being dishonest with self, you could have someone around you being dishonest and deceptive. Causing you to rethink this new adventure that you're stepping into. But I'm seeing you really value your time and energy and your connection to the divines. Valuing the calls that you've been getting, the signs that you've been seeing. But every time you make a move, you get held back. Either by someone around you or just your thoughts getting the best of you and you restricting yourself. But I feel that the, the divines are stepping in, your guides, your ancestors. They're stepping in and they're giving you signs that it's time to test the waters. Wow. Yeah, look at that. It's time to go on the journey. And look at him. This masculine as well is looking at all the fish in that pond. You know, expanding, going on these jur this journey. Knowing that there's plenty of fish in the sea. Somebody could be afraid of their singlehood coming to an end. Because I feel like I'm seeing that they built themselves up. They, they created this pedestal for themselves and they rose above all the obstacles and chaos and challenges and they want to make sure that who they allowed beside them is not going to fuck their shit up it's 
see it's like they're afraid of allowing a masculine around to hold the light to be in their power because they've been in their power so much and I feel like this feminine's afraid to share her throne with not just a spouse this masculine coming in but even with her friends Mm. I'm also seeing here that it could have been, you know, that that devil energy back there. It could have been friends around that was causing you to feel restricted, you know, there were some energies around you that had to be cut off in order to create space for this two of cups energy for that sacred connections in order for you to love yourself in order for your cup to continue to overflow because the ace of cups went right there and I feel like Whatever happens, it had to be done. Whoever had to be cut off or whoever has to be cut off in order for your ships to come in. You know, I'm seeing ships docked that overstayed their welcome and it's time for them or time for even you to release that fucking rope they have attached and send them off. Because nobody else could come in because it was at full capacity already. There was no space. And now there is. And now you have enough love to give. Enough love energy to pour into this new partnership. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's that feeling safe to give it to someone like that. Someone that you feel inspired by. Someone that, ooh, yep, look at that, that legacy energy. Inspired by someone that makes you feel like you want to submit to them. The moon. Yeah, your intuition is telling you. Okay, I am done. I really was not supposed to come out. I've just been chilling. I really miss going live. I miss it so much. And I'm just okay with whatever space I'm at. And I'm also calling in the things that I know I'm deserving of. I feel like that's what this is about too, is knowing what you're worthy of, knowing what you're deserving of. Especially if you've been putting in the works and you've been doing right by self and those around you. Direction. Switch gears, reboot, and try a new and different direction. <sighs> All right. Protection guardian, drop your shields. I feel like that's what I was just talking about too. It's like... Try in a different direction, just... <laughs> I love you all. It's a collective reading. It may or may not resonate. If you want to book a personal reading, that information is found below in the description box. I could even be posting this on Instagram, actually. 
Whatever this is, I'm still feeling the vibes of being quiet. Being quiet about it. Right? I feel like, you know, whatever does happen, people are going to be coming up to you. And they're going to be saying like, wow, I didn't know. Look at that. The parted seas. The moon came out. I didn't even know you were going. I didn't even know you were doing this. I didn't even know this happened. And it's like, yeah, you weren't supposed to. I didn't know the divines were going to part the fucking seas for you. I didn't know either, shit. I was just listening to the calls, you know? So don't tell nobody. I don't know. It's up to you. You do what you want to do. I love you guys, though. So much. So, so much. Look at that. The last two cards. Don't tell nobody. Nobody. Oh, God. And also, don't let your thoughts deceive you. Don't be dishonest with how you feel. Don't manipulate yourself into doing something you know doesn't resonate with your highest purpose and give you joy and harmony and the proper satisfaction that you're worthy of. Moving away from difficulty, heartbreak to the left, to the right. Okay, I know her.